The Columbia and Reading Railway operates on approximately one and one quarter miles of the ex Reading Railroad's Reading and Columbia branch in Columbia, Pennsylvania. And that's a lot of Reading and Columbia. Its sole purpose was to bring gondolas to Frank Sal's salvage company for scrap loading. The locomotive was stored on his property within the confines of the scrapyard when it wasn't being used. The line came dangerously close to becoming a rail trail after being abandoned, though thankfully that didn't happen. Frank Sowd himself purchased the line before the borough could with the intent of getting rail service into his business back in early 2004. Anvil International, the last shipper on the line when it was abandoned, had expressed interest in possibly receiving rail shipments again itself. The line still exists to this day and the railroad's power is an Alco S2 number 226. Shown here in Enola in 2010 en route to Columbia at the railway start, the JNCX number 27 is the former Pioneer Valley number 106, nay Frankfurt and Cincinnati 106 before that, and possibly a CNO locomotive even before that. It came from the Claremont and Concord Railroad who bought it from the Pioneer Valley Railroad. It was operable but needed a lot of work so the Claremont and Concord Railroad allegedly bought the former Green Mountain Railroad number 305 which was in much better shape. One possible side note to this story is that the Middletown and Hummelstown Railroad had a small switching operation in Columbia which they apparently operated on a contract basis for an industry or two with a 44 or 65 tonner. The Columbia and Reading could be anything from a new operator to the same folks with a different locomotive, or it could be a contractor or even a new contractee. Given that the Middletown and Hummelstown had one Alco switcher, it wouldn't be a stretch to surmise that the Red Alco could be related to the MNH. For Trains 21, call me AC.